أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم Thank you brothers and sisters for joining us again Now we're improvising here tonight because of the fact that my computer kind of acting strange but of course I, I shouldn't blame it all on my computer I also left my power cord at home and the battery just died down from the halakha class that we had so I have my very efficient grandson <laughs> shooting this video for our YouTube clip tonight. This will be the seventh entry, and I am going to have to say with regrets that we won't be doing an eighth entry tonight like some of you who received my email <coughs> were promised. But inshallah, we're going to keep going. As long as you don't make, make these <laughs> daily entries, the basis upon which you decide when the night of power or anything else is, and so you don't have to worry about the eighth day, seventh day, sixth day, uh, we're just going to have to start calling them seventh entries and eighth entries. Okay, so enough said about why we're doing it the way we're doing it now. We're shooting this straight off of our iPhone. But in continuing on the subject of the Sacred Life Project, what we're going to do, uh, the, the, the transition is in order here. I think I've said everything that I need to say or should say about what the Sacred Life Project basically is. It's about the human life, and it's about learning the right language that brings about the transformation in that life. It's about understanding the life that Allah created and, and about learning how to live the life that Allah created us for. That's what we are seeking to do. That's what we're trying to try, trying to accomplish with the Sacred Life Project. Uh, I'll tell you later, maybe in another several clips down the road, but we've completed a very, very important benchmark, a very important aspect of this uh, project and it, it extends to about 70 pages but we'll get to that later and no I'm sorry it's not something that I'm distributing to the public right now but it's going to be something that is central to having the right foundation for the project but let's go to one of the critical first concepts of the Sacred Life Project one of the critical first project for first concepts is Adam Adam because when you understand it Adam is the sacred life. Adam is the sacred life. So you have Adam, you have the sacred life, and that sacred life is a human life. So Adam, the human life, is a sacred life. It's a special life that Allah has created like nothing else in creation. And what we want to understand is how to see Adam, perceive Adam, uh, what our role and relationship is uh, with regard to uh, how we're supposed to live that life. And that's what Al-Islam actually is. Uh, live talk. You all right? Your arm's getting tired? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> okay. Turn around, <laughs> let people see you. We're, okay. we're just going to do okay. what family do. Yeah, that's my grandson. <laughs> you going to expect great, great, wonderful things uh, from him. Okay, so we'll get the picture back. All right, so this, this is live. We're just finishing, actually just finishing Iftar. We're at the masjid, and so we finished that. So we talked about, we talked about Adam, right? Adam, as Imam Muhammad points out to us, Adam is more importantly understood to be a type as opposed to a biological person. And that is a cornerstone understanding. And it's somewhat surprising when I hear people, especially and even Muslims, uh, some to express a kind of, you know, a new, it's like enlightening to them. Like they just, you know, got that, got that, figured out for the first time, or they're hearing it for the first time, when in fact that is the truth, that's that's the reality, and let me let me simplify it and, and, and sort of abbreviate this piece here, then I can cut it off, cut it off clean, is that, <clears throat> just think about it, readers, especially readers of the Quran, when you meet Adam in the Quran, right there in the second chapter, Surah Al-Baqarah, when you read meet Adam in the Quran, God creates Adam from clay, etc. Put him before the angels, asked him the names, gave him, you know, Alam al Adam al Asma Kulah, taught him this. Then Iblis refused to bow after the angels bowed, etc., etc. And then what did God say? God said, Get ye down from here. And where did they go? Did they go to Mercury, Venus, Saturn, Jupiter? Where did they go? On earth will be your dwelling place for a time. Well, then, if they weren't on earth already, then they were obviously somewhere other than the earth. So that tells us, and we don't have in Al-Islam, we don't have this whole heaven, earth, hell uh, dimension, or this, this whole cosmology that has this tripartite or this threefold thing. 
the message of that story, the <clears throat> message is that the human beings were created on a plane other than the physiology. Another abbreviated way to understand that is, uh, I like to relate the 23rd chapter and the 12th to the 14th verse. You look at that chapter and look at those verses, and you'll see that from the quintessence of clay all the way up to the end of that section, and it says, Thumma Chalken Achar. Then out of it, we created another creature. So Adam is that another creature. But the physiology, the anatomy, is the biological human being. But then there's a creature that's born out of that bio biological aspect that is not biological. That, in effect, is Adam. That is Adam. That consciousness, that mind, that inner life, that invisible reality. And that is what has to be grown. That is what has to be evolved. That is the sacred life. So the sacred life is about doing what's necessary in order to cause that life to become what God created it to be. God said he created you growing from the earth gradually like a plant. So in the same way, that, that's Adam all over again. So literally that story is Adam being planted in the earth and the entire anthropological history of humanity, civilization included, is the history of man growing in the earth, right? And so the Sacred Life Project is about breaking that up, breaking that down, and understanding how it is constructed in the religion. And these are all from the insides of Imam Muhammad. I'm speaking to you from things that I have that I've seen in these pages that I that I that I tell you that we've we compiled and and structured in a certain way. Uh, these insights, the insights that Imam Muhammad has already given. So, but the point is now they haven't been cataloged, they haven't been codified in our view in a way that they are more transmissible, that they're more portable from person to person, they're more easily taught. And that's what the Sacred Life Project is about. So, inshallah, we'll say more about this dimension, this atom, and this atom being the life beyond the biology. And maybe we'll say a little more about what Imam Muhammad meant when he said the human being was on the earth a long time before Adam was on the earth. Let's get to that the next time we talk. So we'll see you in the next segment. Inshallah, it'll be tomorrow. If not, it'll be sometime shortly thereafter. God's peace be on you. Assalamu alaikum.